Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 20 under introduction to IoT dealing with vehicular IoT. Thanks for the support shown. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So, in the previous videos we have seen water sensors, actuators, why we have come into cloud computing, what is the necessity of cloud computing, all those we have seen in the previous video. So, these are the videos, these upcoming videos will be seeing about, will be handling about the case studies in the IoT architecture. So, one of the case studies here I have considered is vehicular IoT. Why we, why we uh, built IoT infrastructure for vehicles? Generally, when you take on on-road accidents, when you measure the on-road accidents due to the mismanagement in the traffic system, there are many accidents occurring day-to-day -day life that we have seen it. Uh, we, are, uh, we are the one who is uh, seeing it, right? So, because of that, we, we are actually uh, prone to a situation where you need complete communication at different areas of travel. So, that we tell it as connected vehicular environment. So, this connected uh, vehicular environment, what it does is, it starts communicating with the drivers who drive the car. What it communicates? It co communicates information. It shares information like where the traffic is high. Is there any accident in the ongoing road? Something like that. Okay. So, when like uh, in day-to-day -day life, the number of vehicles just keeps on increasing. Like be because of increase in the number of vehicles, there is we are facing problems in parking. Uh, we are facing problems uh, in the traffic system because uh, uh, the traffic system, the red and green light, which we uh, uh, which is switch over, the, even though the density at one end of the road is so high, you will be waiting in the red signal for uh, around two to three minutes, where we will be wasting so much of time, right? So, for that, this vehicular IoT, this IoT infrastructure will enable uh, the system to sense the internal and external environment. Internally, uh, depending upon the car's capability, externally, depending upon the traffic, depending upon the pa free parking lots, the sensor will sense the things and uh, it will intimate to the user such that uh, automatically a decision can be taken by the user. So, this vehicular IoT, it, uh, it is like, uh, it, it has to be done both for on-road and off-road system. Uh, it is not just that on-road system alone should have vehicular IoT. Even though before starting from the house, one must know how the traffic is all around the road and which route can be taken. So that can be done management of traffic and the safety of the drivers, whether it is small vehicle or heavy vehicles, whatever it is, all the safety, safety must be provided. So that's why we have ended up with building an IoT architect architecture or infrastructure for vehicles. So, seeing this, the architecture of the vehicular IoT is divided into three. One is cloud, fog and device. Cloud is nothing but, uh, we have chosen cloud because we, uh, we are using huge amount of data in real time for communicating from the vehicles to the user. So, you tell this cloud as high-end processing. And you, you no need of worry of storage because only because the storage is less, we have moved into cloud. So, long term storage will be there and if suppose real time data are immediately updated in the cloud, decision making is very easy and based on the decision making and the days, based on the data is available on the cloud, the analytics that you take, the user can uh, generate analytics on how the road is, uh, where the traffic is. So, all those analytics can be driven through and fog is nothing but Compared to the cloud computing, fog has low end processing and storage also it is for only short time and decision making for fog is only when you have devices nearby, fog may take decision. So, analytics will be on the smaller scale because of all these uh, low end processing. Finally, devices, 
uh, it is a one which is having uh, a number of sensors which senses the internal environment and also the external environment it, it completely collects the data and shares the uh, data to the user and it collects and shares the data only it is only when it is triggered only when the user wants to know when it is triggered it shares all this information so seeing in deep of what cloud is so we have moved to cloud computing because we are handling with huge number of data huge data processing is required that's why we have moved into cloud so here in vehicular iot system what happens is this cloud computing will be handling with many number of data which is uh, fed in the cloud in a real time basis so uh, you uh, as we have already seen that cloud computing is a long term storage so you need not the user need not worry about the storage system as and when required he can take out the information and do analytics so fog computing when you compare with fog computing this fog computing will be handling with data but when it have n number of devices nearby then it uh, it can communicate and take decision accordingly so next is device so device is the bottom most layer which we are seeing that is this is the one which will be completely uh, having the sensors complete infrastructure will be available in this layer so infrastructure sensor what it is so this layer actually include the both vehicles and the roadside units roadside units is nothing but it will be having its own centralized system where the datas of the vehicle like number plate uh the registration number uh, the registration state all those will be recorded in this unit so all these vehicle will have some sensors uh, internally and externally to predict the uh, different scenarios that is available in the on road and off road next is fog computing so here this layer will be minimizing the data transmission time that is yeah because it has n number of devices near it so data transmission is very quick when compared to cloud data transmission is actually very quick and when you are using uh, fog computing then when you are in real time uh, decision making you, uh, you can obviously choose fog because of minimized data uh, transmission and vehicular iot system here fast decision can be made when you are using fog because uh, uh, when you need, when you uh, make fast decision you can obviously prevent accident and if there is any mismanagement in the traffic that can also be uh, obviously uh, you can avoid all those mismanagement so that is why we uh, we have a fog as one of the architecture hope you have understood the architecture please stay tuned for more information to know about the components of vehicular iot thank you